All right, let's go through some exercises that include VOR or vestibulocular reflex training and gaze stability. These can be progressed in lots of different ways to add more challenge um, by altering the environment, the speed, and the challenge of what you're trying to have someone do when moving their head and stabilizing their gaze or moving their gaze in opposite directions of their head. So let's take a look at some of these things and talk through how you could um, advance them with your client using the motion guidance system. So we're going to use the head cradle and we're just going to start in an upright position. I'm going to mount this on my head and to standardize the head and laser together we're going to have them look at the center target and aim that laser right where they're looking at the center target. So this now represents straight ahead on my visual field at the target. So let's first start with what we call um, times one viewing, which would just be me keeping my head rotating back and forth, like saying no, while staring straight ahead at the red dot. So for this one, if you're the clinician, you would want to be standing here in the corner, looking at their eyes, and seeing if they're maintaining gaze fixation on that center target. If you have a metronome, they could be going to a beat. You could do this for 10 seconds at a time in bouts of five or 10, depending on what kind of symptoms are elicited while doing the X. Uh, commonly, you'll feel dizzy or nauseous if you do have a vestibular problem. Eliciting some of those symptoms is okay, um, but the goal is obviously to keep someone comfortable and that through practice they can achieve the same task without eliciting symptoms. Let's look at something a little more complex. This would be moving the head in the opposite direction of where the eyes are moving. So this takes a little bit of a, a verbal cue for the patient to understand what they need to do. But essentially you're going to be moving the laser to the three as you track your eyes to the nine. So if my finger here is my eyes, it should look like this. And you're going to be going back and forth. So we're going to go three while looking at the nine, and then we're going to go to the nine while looking at the three. Three while looking at the nine, nine while looking at the three. So my vision here is actually moving in the opposite direction of the laser. This is going to be much more challenging. So the same rules apply in monitoring their symptoms of dizziness, discomfort, nausea, whatever symptoms are elicited. In terms of progressions, there are lots of ways to make this more challenging as they become more successful. Um, one would simply be in standing and then standing in, on an unstable surface. Um, walking forward and backward, moving around, or having an environment that's more complex with things going on behind them. Uh, this would be something like people getting uh, symptoms from shopping at a supermarket or something like that. Um, of course, I'd be doing different angles, so uh, upward, downward, diagonals, um, in, in different positions uh, as appropriate for your client.